<laughs> and here we go. This is going to be another King of the Hill game between Bird Kicker and the Super Slinky. Super Slinky is going to be our Protoss player. He is a Diamond ranked. Bird Kicker is our Zerg player. He is uh, the Gr Masters ranked. He is at the top of his division. So we'll see if uh, Super Slinky is able to take the crown away. <laughs> All right, so uh, again here, I have my co-caster is going to be Lunatone PKM. Of course, Hello? he's not from PKM. Yeah. What clan are you in now? XPN. XPN. What does that yeah. stand for? Something like experience something new. Experience new. Okay. Yeah. Right. So it's it looks like basically a bunch of Koreans, I believe. <laughs> well, well, that's exactly what you need for StarCraft Two. <laughs> <laughs> so Bird Kicker over here as our orange zerg player is going to be spawning in the top left hand corner of of uh Kervas. and oh, down in the bottom position we have super slinky spawning as our uh teal protoss player this is Kervas. so uh oops so, little a little lag a little bit of lag but that's okay um so uh, gsl Kervas actually has a lot of open space in the air so mutilus Karas could actually do uh -huh. a lot of damage um however it does have this back expansion uh that is easily takeable as there's only six mineral patches and one uh, rich vespian gas um and, but there's also a front expansion that's very easy to take looks like super slinky is gonna do 15 nexus oh nice I love to see 15 Nexus on these big, big, big maps. It's mm -hmm. always a good play. Um, and the early spawning pool is coming. Oh, actually, he's doing 14 gateway. All right, so he, it looks he, just like... he probably changed after seeing the early spawning pool. Yeah, I, I guess uh, 14 gateway is also very economical. It allows you to continuously mm -hmm. chrono boost probes forever and ever and ever. And That's you just right. get a lot more probes out than your Zerg uh, opponent could ever hope to have drones in the early game. And you got the gas up. Looks pretty classic to me. So it looks like. Oh, super... the probe's gonna die! Oh, oh the no. Rowan just sniped the probe. So it looks like over here, Bird Kicker is gonna be playing very safe. Mm -hmm. uh, and grabbing the back expansion, don't quite like this from a Zerg player. I prefer them to actually take the front expansion, be a little bit more risk taking. It's what you need to do as a Zerg player, especially when you've seen your opponent do a 14 gateway. That's right. There won't be a lot of you know, armies gonna come out. Yeah, the Zerg is gonna check for that natural expansion over there, so uh, he's not gonna see any. But the probe is headed over there. Uh, don't know what it's looking for. And he got four Zerglings coming out also. So four Zerglings, however, um, there are these rocks, the Cyber Core is coming up, the Zella is also on its way, so those Zerglings might not be able to do anything at all. The gas is getting picked up as well. The uh, natural expansion getting picked up in the backside <laughs> for Bird Kicker. Oh. I saw Super Slinky saving his current boost, so I assumed it as four gateway rush, but he just used the Nexus twice. Yeah, oh, actually, they're... once and the current boosting the warp upgrade. He's grabbing his second gas right now. I'm, mm -hmm. uh, I'm a little confused on exactly what his build is. He's not grabbed his expansion. He's not really going for four gate. He's and getting his forge up right now. This is very confusing to me. He's yeah. probably developing a new build. If that's what all players need. <laughs> don't, don't stick with the you know all same builds. You know makes the game boring. All right, yeah, that's actually also mm -hmm. a very good way of looking at it. I like that thought pattern. It's not negative at all. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be optimistic. Yeah, buddy. everyone, if they just saw this, they'd be like, what the heck is this? This is bad. That's bad. What is going on? So he's got the Nexus going to be coming up soon. So this is the uh, Gateway Cybercore Forge n Expand. We'll call it that for yeah. now. Yeah, mm -hmm. Gateway Core Forge Expand. Yeah, so it's a super ultra safe expansion, In but Kribos, still fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> still fast because it's only five minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the lair is on its way. The second gas getting picked up. Ooh. No gas at the rich Vaspine geyser just yet. We'll see when Bird Kicker decides to take his outside natural base. He's got a Zergling parked at the Zelnaga Tower. Going to be doing some nice scouting. The Nexus is of I would I'd still call it a little bit late, but it and is coming up. It's about halfway. Coming. Very interesting. So he's going to be going mass upgrades and one blink gateway probably. blink. No, well, he doesn't have any stalkers to blink with. True. So he's we'll see probably what... thinking for upgrades. 
Yeah, probably upgrades gonna be able to continue the plus two upgrades very fast. Uh, the Nexus is about finished. He's putting a pylon up there. Looks like there's Overlord gonna be scouting to the natural expansion outside. The outside base natural expansion, the Roach Warren is uh, coming up coming right now. Up. And the lair is now complete. And his backyard, Super Slink, his backyard Nexus is complete. Just send some probes in right now. Yeah, he's uh, he's taking his time. Oh, there that. you go. Yeah, and he's producing four probes at one time. I don't think this is a good play. Yeah, he could actually free that supply up, to free those minerals up to do other mm -hmm. things with, invest in other things. He's got his cyber course selected right now. I'm not sure what he wants to do. This is uh, he's getting another forge. Um, there's Whoa. okay, so it's gonna be two gateways, two forges. Um, hopefully we see two robotics next, and we'll see a very, very different build against Zerg. Uh, there's the and Overseer. And Darkshine coming. Wow. I am so confused. And doesn't he already have Overseer? Yeah, he does. Yeah, the Overseer is checking everything out. We'll also see the Dark Shrine, so you can easily throw up some Swine Crawlers, some Spore Crawlers, and be able to <laughs> hold this off. That uh, I believe the Super Slinky completed Warp Upgrade, and he's not changed the Gateway yet. Uh, Super Slinky is actually playing pretty bad right now, I have to say. Uh, well... Or he's just taking it he doesn't... He has 800 minerals, will be okay. He's cancelled his, um... Dark Shrine. The and Overseer's... The is getting the third natural. Third base is about to finish. He contaminated the... Oh, that's such a good play. Plus two is on the way, but plus two for the two zealots on three centuries isn't gonna do much. There's that one stalker over there. He's alone. No partners in the dark to be able to talk with. The reserve looks like Protoss is gonna try to move out here. I... Um, that doesn't look good. It's interesting that Zerg is not having lots of drones also. Yeah, Zerg is basically ahead in everything though. 94 food to 57 from Super Slinky. I am, I don't know what's trying to do. So he saved up a lot of minerals. He's going to be throwing down a ton of pylons and, and a ton more of gateways. gateways. Coming. Yep. Ooh, he saved tons of minerals and just putting a box up gateway now. Alright, so all the gateways are coming up right now. He could have gotten those like five minutes ago. Um, the roaches are cleaning up the destructible rocks over there. It's gonna continue spreading the creep down the ramp. Looks like Zerg is gonna be very, 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 very far ahead when this uh, attack hits. Um, looks That's like right. it's some sort of timing push off of uh, plus two, plus two. But it's it doesn't just, look good. Yeah, not very strong. Should be a little bit faster. Yeah, this yeah this timing push could have been a lot faster. I feel like the gateways could have come up a lot faster, been mm -hmm. able to spend that money a little bit quicker. And here comes the overseer going to come Again. in here, maybe gack something Ooh. up. There's the uh, gack on the blink. And I did I missed that, but he canceled the dark shrine. Yeah, the dark shrine is now gone. The robotics bay is coming up, so the colossus will be coming eventually. And the warp prison. Oh, he just canceled. Um, so Protoss is continuing to not spend his money, um, he could grab an expansion, but opting not to, he's hovering around 600 mm -hmm. minerals for the entire game, we'll see what exactly he decides to do. Zerg got 28 roaches right now. I mean, not to be too condescending on this build here, but I feel like this isn't exactly diamond level play. It's really... Aren't you diamond also? Yeah. Oh, I... And the drop is coming also right now. He loaded a bunch of army to the over overload. Yeah, I wouldn't exactly call this diamond level play. It's really sloppy almost. There's mm -hmm. cannons up. There's overlords just kind of flying over here. Um, Ooh, Protoss has not seen critical. a thing for the entire game. He's not scouted much at all. Ooh. There comes the unload. It It's going to be it's just impossible. This is impossible to block. Yeah, it's it's gonna be GG. Even, even if he's able to like get up there and mm -hmm. do some damage, the overlords easily loads oh, up. They're just gonna move away. Yeah. It's just gonna have fun. This game is essentially over. I I call it over also. 
Yeah, uh, uh, if you were to review this replay, I would go back to the point where we started saving up uh, in 900 minerals and call mm -hmm. that the point at which the game was and uh, was done. Um, Zerg is so far ahead, he can easily take as many bases as he would, could possibly Oops. like. And he, there's a little pause. Um, yeah, so it looks like Bird Kicker is opting to make th 21 of Roaches right now. As soon as mm -hmm. that is finished, Bird Kicker will win this game. All right, so we're just gonna wait for a mm -hmm. few seconds. The ground uh, weapon, or no, the missile attacks plus one is also finishing up for Zerg. Charge is on the way. That Nexus is almost complete. Weapons level three is on the way as well, but a strong small army is not gonna beat a maxed out mm -hmm. Zerg. To be honest, this build is quite interesting, and I gotta think more because he's about to get third weapon upgrade and. 13 15 minutes yeah i think which if i can you know think about it and like you know optimize the build i think it can turn out to be a good build yeah it needs to be refined a lot because mm -hmm. i really like the fast forges yeah but like just, the idea yeah the idea is great but i wonder like how hard you would die to mutalisks Mm -hmm. I I True. also question about what if he goes all in on you seeing this build, well, especially with the, yeah overlords mm -hmm. seeing everything. Um, True. So... Ready? Players are ready. Oops. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So it looks like over here we've got a bird kicker loot uh, dropping off again. Uh, accidentally pausing that game over there. My apologies. We've got him uh, doing some long distance mining at his own natural expansion. Ooh. Um, yeah, Super wait. Slinky is, is in a mess right now. He's going to have to try to grab his uh, ground armor plus two. Uh, even then, I can't really see him doing much. Here comes the unload again. This is such a nice place. No, two way. One coming third, one coming drop. Yeah, looks like the uh, roaches over here are going to be advancing on this expansion. Super Slinky is uh, drawn in two directions. Looks like Bird Kicker is going to go ahead and load up. The force fields are going to deny the roaches. Nice. Oh, uh, you're breaking up just a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and restart the call. Um, meanwhile, oh, Emma. Uh, we've got we've got here the roaches engaging the Protoss army. The Protoss army is just kind of walking forward right now. We'll see. Uh, uh, if he's able to uh, hold off against all these roaches, but the roaches are doing tons of damage. Uh, GG calls a Super Slinky, and this game does go to Bird Kicker.